But the Lord is with us like a fearsome warrior. Therefore, our persecutors will stumble and will not prevail. Since they have not succeeded, they will be utterly put to shame with an everlasting disgrace that will never be forgotten. God bless you, gifted family, and thank you for staying with us. Our goal is to serve you by consistently feeding you with faith until you have no choice but to win. God's word is the reason we are all here. So let's go and get with Pastor Kwame. This is your girl, Stephanie. The scripture says that for some trust in Chirus, others trust in horses, but we will put our trust in the name of God. I want to lay a secret on you today. One of the things I can guarantee you is that God will reward those who faithfully represent him in time of crisis. And so I want you to understand that trusting in God in time of crisis come with a paycheck. Praise be to God. Amen. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous find refuge the righteous find safety in god's name amen and amen i believe that god is going to watch over his own and he's going to preserve us amen we look unto him and our eyes are on him alone praise god amen i want to thank god for your life and i want to believe that the covering of god is still strong on your family um we are taking time this week to consider the actions of faith in time of crisis in other words what will faith do in time of crisis i'm going to greet you in the name of the lord Jesus christ and i want to believe god that your faith is stronger than you first believe amen we are getting to partly the middle of the crisis is so to speak and god is still faithful and he's doing his will in our lives bringing souls into the kingdom of god for such a time like this i am excited about who god is in the midst of all of this amen so let me get busy we are spending time with the fathers of faith of your city. so where we find our assignments in the book of hebrews by the way how are you doing I pray that the Lord will be good unto you. I pray that his face will shine on you. And I pray that he will give you peace. That pass it all understanding. Can I get an amen? My assignment is located in the book of Hebrews chapter 11, verse number 7. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 7. The scripture says, It was by faith that Noah built a large boat to save his family from the flood. Amen. It was by faith that Noah built a large boat to save his family from the flood. Amen. I want to talk to you on the third action of faith in time of crisis. Faith walks in the impossible in time of crisis. This will be short, I believe it. Faith walks in the impossible. Now, now check it out. I did not say faith believes the impossible. Faith believes the impossible when there's no crisis. But when crisis activates, faith does not just sit and believe, but faith walks in the impossible. Now, so let me execute the test and then bring an application that will begin to set us up for what God wants you to know today. So the Bible says God told Noah to build an ark. When you continue verse 7, the Bible says, For it what God what Noah obeyed God to do was concerning something that had never happened before. Let me say it again. What Noah obeyed God to do was concerning something that had never happened before. So Noah was believing God to do something that has never happened before. There was no reference point. You can't describe what Noah was doing to anybody because it has never happened before. So Noah was doing something. If you ask him what he's doing, he would tell you that, but you won't understand it because what he's doing for had never happened before. Is somebody hearing me today? So God says to Noah, build an ark because water is about to flood the earth. And the Bible says Noah was doing it, but Noah understood that it has never happened before. Now, let me begin to work the test and bring it to a place where God is calling you and I to do things that has never happened before. You ask me, Pastor, what is it that has never happened before? If you are following me a lot around, you'll notice that at the beginning of the crisis, I did a teaching on the psychological effect of crisis. And one of the psychological effects of crisis was that fear has fear is a natural response to crisis. And so, what you consider what has happened before which are not 
impossible they they are things such as fear they are things such as panic there are things such as natural responses to crisis psychological response to crisis and the bible says that when god called noah to act god gave noah a different kind of behavior pattern so god is calling you and i to build an ark and an ark represent a life a behavior a walk and a talk that is in line with impossible so when faith rises to the occasion in time of crisis faith does and walk in the impossible if you are afraid of crisis you are walking in the possible amen if you are afraid of crisis you are walking in the possible if you are afraid of what is happening you are walking in the possible but god called noah to walk in the in possible the impossible means to walk in oh glory to god to walk in no fear so so let me make it simple so that if somebody has to confuse you to misunderstand it to walk in fear in time of crisis is possible to walk in fear in time of crisis is possible to walk in doubt in time of crisis is possible to walk in in panic in time of crisis is possible to walk in anxiety in time of crisis is possible to walk in all kinds of negative feeling in time of crisis is possible what is impossible is to walk with no fear in time of crisis that is called building an ark doing something which is impossible in time of crisis so god is calling you and i to behave and to act in such a way that our walk our talk and our attitudes will reflect a people that are walking in the impossible is somebody here with me today i feel like preaching on today so god is calling you and i to a place where we walk in the impossible so in time of crisis faith does not sit and believe but faith walks in the impossible and the impossible is called building an ark to build an ark you must act oh god help me so noah was putting together an action plan noah was getting inventory of things to build an ark noah was going for to buy nails noah was going to the carpentry shop to buy cutting tools noah was investing his strength his time his energy and his money in the impossible and that's what god is saying that all of us must come to a place where we invest in the impossible we walk in the impossible we talk in the impossible we behave in the impossible what is the impossible is the impossible is the ability to not be afraid of crisis i want to i want ladies and gentlemen i want to tell you that i am not afraid there are certain things that are going on i can't share them because we we we, we, we want to speak to everybody at their level but personally i'm not afraid and that is impossible for you to be in a pandemic of this proportion and not be afraid is called impossible and that is called building an ark so god is calling you and i to build an ark and the name of the ark is no fear in times of crisis so if if i see the ark that you are building it's called no fear that's the title of my song for my birthday my birthday is coming up uh, in few days amen but the point is that faith walks in the impossible in time of crisis faith walks in the impossible in time of crisis and the key word is walks no one was walking in the impossible everything noah was doing was impossible every investment noah was doing was impossible because he was all glory to jesus because he was fulfilling an order which was impossible i don't come to tell you what is possible today i didn't come to tell you what is possible today i came to talk about what is impossible that is what you said oh glory to jesus that's what you search for in time of crisis faith walks in the impossible 
favors now so 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 let me let me let me categorize it clearly for you to understand what i'm saying so the scientists all the things that make sense in time of crisis are possible that we but we don't work in those god bless you if you apply hand sanitizer but we don't work in hand sanitizer we work in the impossible blood praise god god bless you for all the possible measures that i preached about yesterday but at the end of the day faith does not work only in the the wise but faith works in the impossible faith aligns itself with the impossible faith speaks the impossible faith works in the impossible ladies and gentlemen impossible act of this pandemic is called no fear and i believe that god will honor anybody and everybody who works in the, in the impossible the impossible oh jesus i love you and i give you glory the impossible is an attitude of the heart the impossible is this confidence that what has never happened before will happen and that is to say whatever oh glory to god so in a nutshell every behavior of noah was out of touch is somebody here every behavior of noah was out of touch what i mean by it is that everything noah was doing was not in sync with the times what out oh, glory to jesus everything that noah was doing was out of i was 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 not reasonable in time that he was in everything that noah was doing was not sensible during his time everything that noah was doing was not necessary in his time everything that noah was doing couldn't could, you can't reason with him because he was obeying an order towards the impossible faith works in the impossible and the ark god is calling and challenging you to build in this crisis is a person who do not fear anything a person who do not fear anything that is insane to fear nothing when fear is all around that my dear is called building an ark when you have never seen rain before god is challenging you and i to fear nothing literally nothing to fear nothing means don't fear the virus itself Oh, thank you, Father. We give you glory. Don't fear the virus itself. Because you have built an ark which is insanely out of touch. Father, we want to honor your name because we are afraid of nothing in this ark. We don't dance to the tune of statistics we don't dance the tune of what men are saying but our confidence is in the fact that god is only god when we obey him oh lanina mozirintia makaze pratia did you hear that god is only god when we obey him in other words we will not experience god if we don't obey him and he said do not fear and that's all that matters let's pray and so spirit of the living god we surrender to your will and to your assignment the day that name the name of god must depart from iniquity and pursue righteousness and therefore we come running after you that the righteous shall forever be bold like a lion we pray that we will abstain from anything that weakens our righteousness and we will run with strength to build an ark for you for we are not afraid 
of what evil brings for our lives are hid in Christ and Christ in God. In Jesus' name, amen.